Hi, and welcome back to Alberta Camping. We've had a lot of questions about how to camp while your trailer is winterized, or should I, in these shoulder seasons, de-winterize? Is it okay to do so? When you're going out into the mountains, Kananaskis, west of um, Calgary, my suggestion is keep it winterized. And you can camp, we've been camping no problem with, um, it was minus 15 one night. And we have water, we have heat, uh, we just don't use what you would typically use during the um, warmer season. So with the water for instance, we bring out a big jug, and actually I'll show you. Um, we have our regular jugs of water that we use at home. And we we bought this really handy dandy pump, so we can fill water. Um, we use this to wash our hands, to brush our teeth, to wash our face. However, but nothing goes down the sink. So as a reminder for myself in the bathroom and in the kitchen, I just keep the stoppers in the sink, so I know. Oh yeah, I'm not going to drain anything down uh, the sink. So everything is still all the. Um, uh, lines are still have the antifreeze in them. Now when it comes to the bathroom and I want to go to the bathroom in the trailer, that's fine. Reusing the toilet uh, only for number one and the toilet paper goes into a waste basket and then we use antifreeze to actually flush it and to brush our teeth the same way. Um, we'll just spit into the toilet. Uh, and then with the antifreeze, so it works out really, really well. Uh, washing dishes, only we, we go into town every three, four days and we have enough dishes out here. So I have been just taking them in and washing them at home and then bringing them back out after we've had our showers and getting replenished of food. Um, but to wash dishes out here, we would still use this um, and boil it, boil the water in the kettle on the outside stove and uh, wash the, the dishes in tubs. And uh, you can always empty those, use that, that water to put out your fire at night or take it to the outhouse and dump it in there. Um, if it's clean water, if you're completely clean, then it wouldn't be, it'd be fine to dump it, uh, like if you're extra water in your kettle or whatever, um, into the forest, because it's clean water. Uh, but gray water uh, needs to be in the outhouse or um, in down into your tank, um, which you could do, I guess, with antifreeze, uh, because the dump station here on the we're at McLean Creek right now, uh, the shoulder season season the uh, dump station is there. There's no water available, but uh, you can dump your tank. So this has been working really well. This is brand new actually, and uh, I quite like it. We also have a um, a jug outside that we can fill uh, the kettle and uh, whatever we need on the outside wash hands and such like. Um, I also, so we, I use a tub for my dirty dishes. It all, once it's dirty, it goes in there. Um, we also bring a tub out with our cleaning supplies and um, hand soap. Um, and we don't actually leave it in here. We will take this tub back home. So instead of putting it away where it normally would go and stay for the summer season, uh, we're just going to take this tub right back home with us again. So those are a couple items um, that are really useful for the, if you're worried about camping when your trailer is winterized. We also don't dry camp. <laughs> Some people are really, really super brave and I, and I uh, appreciate that. Uh, I do like a little bit of heat um, when it gets minus 15. We noticed uh, the one night, uh, make sure that you have lots of propane <laughs> um, for your, if you're using your furnace. But what we have found, because we are in a powered site, is that if, why use all your propane if you can, if you're hooked up to power anyway, get yourself a little electric heater. Uh, this thing has been really great. It has kept the trailer nice and warm. Um, it's keeping, there's a fan in there that's blowing it out. And uh, we don't, the furnace hardly ever kicks in. So we keep the furnace really low. So at night, um, if this isn't enough, the furnace will kick in once in a while. But uh, John was saying last night, he didn't even hear the furnace kick in once the trailer or the 
this little heater worked to keep it keep everything nice and warm and if you're worried about the bathroom or like this is our um, um, bunks uh, we just keep the curtain open to sleep and then um, we also keep the bathroom door open so that uh, it stays nice and toasty as well um, going to the outhouse at this time of year a little chilly but uh, it's doable it's fine they're open uh, lots of hand sanitizer it's excellent it's working really well just because you don't have water doesn't mean that everything else um, that you can't use our fridge and freezer but our stove and our oven and microwave because we have power everything and propane uh, everything is usable so just because um, you can't put anything down your drains or you don't want to at this time of year uh, you can still we're functioning in the exact same way as we would uh, in the summer seasons um, just not using the taps and filling up our our water supply is the only difference another thing I want to suggest is uh, clothing during this uh, sh these shoulder seasons you never know uh, what the weather will be like we have learned uh, that we need layers and um, when we first started experiencing shoulder season I was like like a cotton turtleneck under a hoodie um, and I found that wasn't quite enough so to have wool socks and you're really a really good base layer is is super important you may even want to sleep in them at night when it is uh, the other night it was minus 15 so um, make sure you're really prepared with clothing and lots of layers and bring something for every season um, it is Alberta you never know from one day to the next if it's going to be beautiful we brought winter boots to running shoes to rain boots um, jackets uh, winter winter wear to I have shorts and t-shirts just in case I'm realizing now that I'm never gonna wear those shorts and t-shirts while I'm out here but that's okay um, but I haven't it's been very seldom where I haven't been warm enough and if you're having a campfire at night that'll keep you nice and warm as well and lots of people are having their fires during the day uh, so they can be outside um, on those really rough weather evenings though uh, it was almost to the point last night where the wind was so strong that we were gonna come in um, have some movies on a laptop that you can uh, watch your TV um, or even a gaming system or something that you can do inside um, to keep yourself occupied and have some fun um, I bring lots of books I read a lot uh, we don't have internet so you would have to have things that are downloaded onto devices body heat lots of blankets wool that's my advice for keeping warm and a little electric heater best thing ever <laughs> that way you don't burn through all your propane I really love the idea of that so I was talking about cooking um, in a tr in our trailer which we don't do we use I think we use a microwave once um, because we have power and we were oh melting some butter because it was so cold that the, the butter wouldn't spread so that's all I used it for uh, but we do all our cooking out here so we've got a table set up where we can do some prep um, and then we use our camp stove for pretty much everything we make our coffee with an AeroPress um, we do most of our cooking we do people have been asking a lot about cooking and camping what should I prepare and people are putting a lot of effort into it and I, I me personally don't get it it's supposed to be relaxing um, and preparing meals a week in advance to take out camping doesn't sound like much fun, but I really am not a big lover of cooking anyway. But anyway, so what we do here is like we can do bacon and eggs here, our sausages, um, whatever you want for breakfast basically. And then evenings, the way we've been cooking is barbecuing. Um, so we've got a little barbecue on the picnic table. Um, we do a lot of the meat products we we'll barbecued or we'll make like chicken packets. Um, veggies uh, in in packets tinfoil packets we'll do a lot of that stuff there but if we use a lot of um, bagged salads uh, frozen vegetables and we can just grill those up with some spices on them they're amazing um, one thing we 
found out one year when we hadn't brought a lot of vegetables out, but we had some coleslaw. We fried the coleslaw and it was the most amazing thing. So a salad, the veggies and barbecue, what else do you need? It doesn't take very long and it's, the cleanup is super, super fast. And we don't have all those extra dishes and we don't have to be inside and using um, the propane that could be used for heat. When it comes to, we t I talked about dishes, and uh, this is super easy cleanup. The, the dishes that we use are paper plates and they become fire starters. And then uh, we have lots of utensils and um, miscellaneous little things so that we don't have to wash dishes every day. So it's lovely cooking this way because you don't have pots and pans and uh, the tin foil. Um, of course it's garbage, but. So we have a surprise for you. We've decided because we love having that a little electric heater when we have power, that we would actually do a little giveaway. So we bought this, this is the exact same one that we're using, a uh, little electric heater. And uh, we've decided that we would like somebody else to have one. So to participate in our giveaway, we would like you to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. And we will randomly draw a name and we will get you this heater. It's awesome and you're gonna love it. It'll save you money on propane. So like, subscribe and comment and happy camping.